Hi guys, this is going to be a daily reading for Friday the 14th, and I hope I got the date right, but if I didn't, I know people will correct me. This is going to be general, so this could be for all signs. Now please bear in mind that energy is fluid and time is an illusion, so just because it is dated for Friday the 14th, I believe the 14th, <clears throat> does not mean it's only for that day, okay? This could have already happened. May not have already happened. I don't know. May not happen until next week. Now, this is going to be... There's an ending here that has happened. we got the Ten of Swords. I'm not taking all that. I'm not feeling it. The worst is now over for something here. Something is completed because Ten is about completions. It's also... You know, someone might still be hanging on to the old, afraid to let go. Oh, I'm going to stop right now. The reason I say someone may be afraid to let go is because you have the four of pentacles, which is someone that is either number one, afraid to open up or number two, afraid to let go of something. Feels like someone's afraid to let go. And the reason I say that is because the 10 of swords energy is that of it's the worst that's done. Look at her. She's been through some fuckery, huh? She's been through some shit. And it's over. This could be Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy too. Because we have here the Queen of Swords. This person is now more cold and detached. Because of the fuckery that's occurred. And now he or she is the wounded warrior with the Nine of Wands. Means now that they're guarded. Queen of Swords energy, she can be very, very, very emotionally detached, right? Air. But there's love coming. Love is knocking on the door with the Ace of Cups here. Ooh, 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 ooh. Love is knocking on the door, but will she answer is the question. Now, if you're a cross watcher and you are a male or, you know, this could be a male that it flip, flip the energy is my point because it's general, okay? You have here the Empress. This is pure abundance. This is also motherly energy here too. Some of you might be seeing threes a lot because the Empress is number three. I almost said something's coming in threes, okay? Now, the reason I say that is because I literally saw threes in my head. So, you know how they say it comes in threes? Could be the third month. It could be the third day. I don't know what that's about, okay? Um, the Empress here is pregnancy, too. It's a birth of something new. It's a new relationship that's trying to kick off, but this person's not allowing it in. Whatever this is, it's literally knocking on the door and they're not answering. That's just what it feels like. Uh, seven of Pentacles. Someone's waiting. They're willing to invest. Seven of Pentacles is somebody that's investing in something. They've planted up. They're willing to do the work. They're willing to. This does not mean that they have. They're willing to do the work. Someone here wants to invest in a relationship and the other person is afraid. They're afraid. Because of all of the fuckery that they've been through. And it is part of the, this person's karmic lesson to open up and let this person in. It is definitely part of their lesson. I told you. So you have the world. The world is about Saturnian lessons, right? Because Saturn rules the world in the tarot card. Saturn is karma. This is a, a, it's a lesson. Somebody has to learn this lesson that the fuckery was in the past. Not, it's no longer. This is also completion. I told you something ended. Something is also coming full circle. You also have the Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Queen of Pentacles is somebody that's very generous, but also extremely well manifested. She's got a lot going on, especially with the Empress energy. Huh? Very well manifested. But be very careful that you're not so wounded as to being afraid to let things in that you 
are afraid to let your blessings come in also is the point. Which a lot of my clients are, you know, in that particular situation. Queen of Swords energy comes out and she goes, you may not pass, motherfucker. That's what she says. She says, what the fuck you want? She's cutting with her words too. She can be very, very blunt. But she is also communicative. She will let you know. She tells the truth. She's very decisive, not indecisive, almost too decisive in a sense where she hasn't even thought the offer through. And this is an offer. It's an offer that I feel is coming in. Queen of Pentacles, she is grounded. She is balanced. I told you this is why she's wounded. Five of Pentacles is this energy of being ghosted in the past. Somebody ghosted her, wasted her time. She invested in something. And it could also be a business venture or work too. It doesn't always have to be love. But this feels like both, to be honest. It feels like it could be both situations. She invested a lot in something and it didn't work out the way she had planned. Look what's in the bottom of the deck. The lovers, Gemini energy. The lovers is a decision in love that needs to be made. An offer will come, but she either, number one, may not see the offer, or number two, is not going to accept the offer due to past energy. Maybe the person that's making the offer is someone that is not a new person, and they're coming back in to offer, and you're going, remember when your ass ghosted me? Remember when your ass chose someone else it's like that kind of an energy put it this way they've got a lot to prove a person comes in offering you something they need to prove it actions are everything we don't give a fuck what comes out of a person's mouth i want to see it you want me show me you you want a second chance you prove it you have here the magician someone is definitely trying to manifest a second chance here feels like a second chance could this be someone new? Sure. But it feels like a second chance. The magician is as above, so below. What's going on in the 5D? Ooh. Ten of fucking cups. Another ten. Completion for sure. Ten of cups is this energy of having it all. It's the fairy tale. It's the happily ever after. It's emotional fulfillment. Someone wants this happily ever after with you. And now you're going... <laughs> that's what it feels like it feels like you're going really come on boo really but they do they want a new beginning you see in the card there is a new moon they want a new beginning with you there's a child here too and i talked about that on my um live reading that i did last night or yesterday on instagram my instagram is xi underscore missy underscore xi please follow me there Ooh, there's going to be a lot of plot twists. This is someone coming in that you thought it was done. And I keep channeling that. See, look, communication, the eight of wands. They want to communicate, but they're afraid. And if they did communicate, now they're afraid because you were very queen of swords and may have bit their fucking head off. Or you were very cold to them. And it's your MO is different now because I feel like before with this Queen of Pentacles energy, you were a lot, you were a lot more generous, you were a lot more open with them. And now the energy has shifted where you might be more emotionally detached and they don't like it. See? Three of Swords, heartbreak. Could have been three people involved and someone didn't choose you, and now you're going, What I bitch at? Thought you chose her. Thought you chose him. Oh, you made the wrong choice? Mm. It's going to be contemplation here. A decision for sure has to be made. Six of Pentacles, balance, wanting to give. Before, the scales were off balance because one gave more than the other, and now they want to offer. There's a lovers again. I knew the lovers would come on again because when I see it on the bottom of the deck, it usually means it's very important. Again, this is Gemini energy, but the lovers is a decision that needs to be made. Queen of Wands, Aries Leo Sag, but this person sees you and they're very attracted to you. Queen of Wands is very passionate. <clears throat> She's also a go-getter and a hustler. 
seeing you as Queen of Wands, Queen of Pentacles, and the Empress. They see you as everything. Honey, you got it all going on. And they know it. And they didn't know it before, but they know it now. What is this? Oh, geez. Here's the communication and the truth. The Ace of Swords. Somebody wants to communicate desperately. See the roses and the butterflies? These roses, red roses in particular, are going to be very symbolic for some. Butterflies will be very symbolic. Since last week when I had that huge energy shift when I got into that accident, um, while I was waiting for the tow truck, I there was a butterfly circling around me. Ever since then, I've been seeing them. Um, just earlier today when I was outside, one was circling me again. Really big monarch butterfly. Now you guys can see here, butterflies are my thing. So spirit animal. When butterflies come around me and make sure I get they get my attention, it is usually because there's a transformation that's occurring. And the last time this happened, someone came into my life. And I fell madly in love. And it didn't work out because it was a karmic soulmate. But this is what I'm talking about. Like, I know it means something's shifting, something's happening, and that I'm transforming also because we're never fully awakened, right? We're always, is this not the, we aren't. We're always awakening. Justice. This is Libra, but it's not about the signs. You guys know that. Don't pay attention to the signs in readings because it's irrelevant. It's the energy. This is, again, justice or balance. Getting karmic justice. Karmic justice was, excuse me, karmic justice will be served. And I don't know what that means because it's going to be different for everybody. This has nothing to do with revenge. This is somebody getting what they deserve karmically. It's a karmic lesson here for sure. I felt that earlier too. Nine of Swords, see the fears. Someone is fearful because they're afraid to get hurt. And they're saying, I already learned that lesson, universe. What? Why do I have to go through this again? Because for some of you, it might just be a test. The Chariot, it could be a Cancerian. Chariot keeps coming up over and over and over and over and over and over. Because I think it's preparing us for the Cancer full moon. It's like the 22nd of this month. And that's going to be a huge moon. The summer solstice, wherever you are in the world, for us in the Western Hemisphere, it is the winter solstice. The 21st of December this month is going to be just huge movement. And here you have movement again. Someone's coming home. Because they're, they're jumping on their chariot and they're coming home. Oh, the plot twist is going to be who? Cool. The star. A wish is granted. Is it an old wish that's granted? Who, when I channeled that energy of an old wish is granted, a couple of things popped into my head and I thought, no, no. But the reason I thought no is because my queen of swords and my wounded warrior energy took over me. And that's why the answer was no. And I've learned that I cannot make my decisions based on past behaviors, right? We can't. This is also Aquarian energy, but again, we don't want to get stuck on the signs. A wish is granted, and it could be an old wish. Ten of fucking pentacles. Completion, there's like three tens. Completion, this is also years. This person wants a committed, solid relationship with you. Before, maybe they only offered a little tiny, itty-bitty pentacle. Now they're willing to offer it all. This is someone very financially stable, or maybe they feel that now they're financially stable because maybe that's why before they did they they weren't secure enough to be able to offer you something because they didn't feel that they could. Because if they see you as all this, they know that they gotta offer everything. They can't come in with no half-ass offer because that ain't gonna be accepted, right? All right, let's just get. A couple lovers oracle cards out i want to remind you guys i will be in brooklyn in a couple of weeks brooklyn new york i have a couple of tickets left if you guys want to come and see me purchase your tickets if you're on oahu i am going to be doing an oahu event next month on the 27th january and if you guys want to come and see me go ahead and click on the box below and tickets are on sale for both events my bracelets if you want to purchase my intention bracelets Remember, they are intention bracelets, okay? They're not just decorative. They're juiced up for different reasons. Go to my website. There is free shipping worldwide right now, just as a little thank you. I'm also going to have another sale coming up very soon, too. Another thank you, because it is the holiday spirit. Oh, here we go. 
Honor the place in one another where you are one eternal soul, for there you will find true bliss. Sexual union. Sexual union. The lover's card can be seen as that, a sacred sexual carnal union. This is twin flame energy. And you guys know I do not like to use the term twin flame, but that's what I'm talking about. This is you've learned the lesson of self-love. You get to your highest vibration and you attract someone. Is it old? Is it new? We don't know. That's a plot twist. You will attract someone that is on that same frequency as you. It's the mirror image of where you're vibrating at that moment. Some people believe it can only be one person, and if that one person doesn't get their shit together, then it can't be anyone else. I don't know if I necessarily believe that. I kind of believe a little bit more that, I don't know, I feel a little bit more open-minded about it. That's why I don't even like the terms or the labels. So it doesn't matter, soulmate, twin flame, counterpart, lifetime partner, whatever you want to call it. This is someone that's going to match your vibration and frequency. Very extreme chemistry these two people are going to have. They're, they're going to see each other. They're going to know it's like this. It's instant. So, for example, if it's someone that's coming back from your past, when you see them or you talk to them, it, it, the chemistry would just be like, it'll be there again. Like it never left. In fact, it would be even stronger. It would be even stronger. All right, you guys. I want to thank you guys so very much. Thank you for all of your likes, shares, and your subscriptions. I really appreciate that. Um, if you guys have any questions, want to book a reading, want to book a Reiki distance healing session with me, click on the box below, okay? Everything is there. I will see you guys soon when I do your weekend reading. I hope you guys have a beautiful day. Love you.